So let's take a quick look at how you write code in incremental or relative. Those are two words that mean the same thing for our purposes. Uh, the first thing you need to do is once you make your design, uh, you write down your coordinates. You'll notice that they're different in this case. Um, some people prefer doing relative because it's just moving from where you previously were to the next point. So from the origin to get to point A, we have to move 0 0.5, 0 0.5, because each one of these is a 0.25 unit on this graph paper. So we move right 0.5, up 0.5. But then to get from A to B, we don't have to go left and right at all. So the x is 0. But we go up 1 inch, because it's 4 times 0.25. So we go up 1 inch. Um, to get to point C, we go right 0.375, down 0.3, or down 0.5. So it's right 0.375, down negative 0.5. And then so on, right 0.375, up 0.5 to D. And then from D to E, we go left and right zero, so my x is zero, and my y is down one. So we have a y of negative one. So to code this, you need to open up the GNM code relative practice, and you would use your practice image, but I'll just give you this as, this as a sample. And um, here it is, make sure you follow the directions. I've already done this, I've already set it up according to the instructions. Make sure it's shared with me, open the practice, and then we need to set the block. So again, n zero zero. A relative coordinates, or incremental, if I have my reference sheet open, is G91. It's incremental or relative. So I know I use the words um, interchangeably. Make sure that you have an understanding that incremental and relative are the same. So we have G91. And then inch mode was G20. We turn the spindle on, and that's MO3S3000. Now we rapid to point A. So we have NO6, and we're going rapid, G00, to point A. Well, point A, if we look at our coordinates, that's why it's so important that you have the coordinates labeled out. A is 0.5.5. So X.5, Y.5, and then we plunge. So that's a G01. And we plunge. This is the trickiest part, and this is the part that's actually the most dangerous. So when you set up the milling bit, you need to make sure that you set it up so that it's 0.1 above the material. So if you're going to tell it to go down, you need to go down 0.1 just to touch it, and then another 0.04, I think I used in the previous example, um, to get actually cutting into the material. So we need to actually make up that distance, that 0 0.01 that we start. Because we're not starting right on the bit, the yo-yo. We're starting just above it at 0.1, which is really important that you set it to that safe position. So since we're doing that, we need to go a Z negative 0.1, and then that just gets us down to the surface of the yo-yo. To cut into it, we have to say, well, how deep do we want to cut? Well, in this case, I'll use this number. So that's another two hundredths that we're going down. So it's really important that when you set up the bit, you start it at point one above the actual yo-yo. Otherwise, you'll dig way too deep into it. So we set it at that. We're going at a feed speed of F10 to plunge. And now we go N10, and we're going feed speed to the next point. We don't need to do another G because um, we have already set G01. But we're going to go to point B the next point, which was the next point, B. And point B relative to A is 0, 1. It's not left or right or anything, but it's 1 in the y direction. So it's x0, y1. Then N12, we go to point C, and point C, now that we have the coordinates, we continue going through. So we have the code written all the way through point E, and we've gotten to this point, we need to raise it up and move it over. But now remember, if we are 0 0.02 down, then we need to raise it not just 0.1, because we're 0 0.02 down. So we need to raise it 0 0.12, and that will take you to a safe height of 0 0.1 above. So this will make up for being down 2 hundredths, because we're going up 2 hundredths and then another tenth. Raise bit to z.1. And that's why we have to have 0.12. So if this is confusing to you, call me over and, and let me explain this because it's really important that you get this. Uh, then we're going to go m20. We're going to go over to point h. And h actually is incorrect. h should have from e 
it's right 0.5 because we have two units here of quarters each so it's right 0.5 and it says right 0 so that's actually not correct so h is actually 0.5 and zero, we're not going up and down at all from point E. So you can see it's really easy to get confused um, and write the wrong incremental points. When you run your preview, you'll find out if you did it right or not. So we're going right 0.5 and up and down zero from E to H. So move to H, and that's X 0.5, Y zero. And then next we need to plunge down. So we're going to go Z negative 0.12 to go down the point 1 and then start milling point zero 0.02 into it. So plunge to negative point zero 0.02. And then we're going to go from H to F. And so H to F is right 0, up 1. So H to F, that's correct, 0, 1. So we go N24, X0, Y1. And um, you'll probably note that I forgot to change my feet speed here. F10 for plunging. And then F20 again as we start to mill. My G, it's still G01. That's been the same every time. Uh, we need to insert a row because I have one more thing. I need to do a circle. And remember, circle clockwise is G02. And I am going from F to H. So F to H is actually down 1 inch. X0, Y, negative 1. So x0, y, negative 1. And I'm going about my center, my i and my j. So this represents my x and y coordinates. A center of x0 to get from f to i, and y negative 0.5. So again, these coordinates are not quite correct. They may have gone a different order than I did. But if I'm going from f to h, i is 0 in the x direction and negative 0.5 in the y direction. So I have an i of 0 and a j of negative 0.5. And that is clockwise from f to h. And this one is to point f. So that should do it. And then our code at the end, the last four lines of code, are exactly the same as what you'd had before. Uh, you can choose x2, y2, z2, although it just goes from um, the previous spot. Remember for z, on this one it would be z, 0.12 to get it to compensate for the 0.02 that you milled. Um, and then we would just go right to, forward to, and up to. These last four lines are going to be the same for your absolute or your relative incremental, whichever word you choose, code, with the exception of the z. With absolute, you're going to put it to an absolute of z.1. With relative, you're going to put it to a position of 0.1 above the part. So it depends on how deep you mill. In this case, we milled it 0 0.02, so we need to go up 0 0.12 to compensate for that and then raise it 0 0.1 above the part. Um, so these last four lines of code are the same as the previous one, and that should be it.